Eilis Jacqueline opened her eyes as she was awoken by the sun beating down on her face. The slender mansion was quiet as usual in the mornings, as she was usually the first one to wake up. She popped down and began to make her bed when suddenly she saw a lump beneath the covers. To her dismay, she found something dreadful beneath her precious covers. It was unspeakable. It was, it was plastic. She immediately took a step back and gagged. This was not hers. She would never, ever use something so, so... <sighs> groaned Jacqueline. She had to get it out of her bed without touching it. That thing was most definitely not clean and there was no way she was going to touch it with her hands. Jacqueline went to the dresser and snatched several tissues from the tissue box and smothered them with hand sanitizer. No piece of plastic was going to get its gooey germs on her. Okay. She breathed. Let's do this. She approached the bed with her tissues ready, her eyebrows proud at the sight. Carefully, she lifted the revolting life form off her girded bed and went out of the room. Slender Woman's going to hear about this, and I will find out who did it. She thought aloud, Chuckman. <laughs> and when I do, I'm going to clean the room until it sparkles. Slender Woman was in the kitchen preparing a heaping breakfast of bacon and eggs for the girls whenever they woke up. The skillet was sizzling, and Slender Woman was working to prepare the best breakfast she could. Jacqueline could hear two muffled voices speaking back and forth to each other. So I met this handsome man on the street, and he paid me $20 to come over to his house and give him a little visit. <laughs> you already told me that last night. Oh, that's not the only thing you did last night. Be quiet. Yes, mother. <sighs> so she wasn't the only one up, it seemed. She entered the kitchen, and what she saw made her suspicions rise. This person had to be the culprit. It was a Fender Woman. Well, howdy do, Jacqueline, said a Fender Woman in a provocative accent. Long time to see. How have you been? Canada, Fendi, snapped Jacqueline. Slender Woman didn't interrupt the fight. Hey, that's no way to talk to your- Jacqueline was in a Fender Woman's face in a split second. Explain this. A vendor looked down at a piece of plastic. It looks like it's seen better days. It's yours, isn't it? A vendor put her hands on her hips and stood up, staring down at Jacqueline. Look, just because I'm a pervert doesn't mean I'd have something like this. She pointed at the horrid thing. Now why don't you take that thing and- Slender stepped in between them, breaking up before the argument could go any further. They took a step back, not daring to further provoke the aggrid woman. What seems to be the problem here? Questioned the mother of the house. That! A vendor pointed to the piece of plastic. That is what has this delusional girl's panties in a field of uncut daisies. My word! Slender put a hand over her mouth. What in the world is that doing in my mansion? Offender put her hands up innocently. Don't look at me. I may be visiting, but I didn't bring it. Besides, I leave that kind of stuff back at home. Well, I've known Jacqueline has never shown any signs of using something like that. So I wonder, who could have done it? Pondered Slender. Are you sure it wasn't you, Offender? Does it look like it was me? Room went silent, everyone staring at a fender. All right, then. If I help you find whoever the hell did this, then will you leave me alone? It would indeed be helpful, admitted Slender. Fine, fine. A fender snatched the object from Jacqueline. Give me that thing, and we'll try to figure out who did this. Till then, stop blaming me for this. Howdy, guys. Thank you for watching Genderbin My CP Please. This is our first project as the new directors and we're really excited about finally getting off the ground. Let us know you liked it by hitting those like and subscribe buttons and we'll see you in the next one.